Well, greetings everyone. Welcome back to Jerry's Never Bored in Thailand. There's the beautiful Tiki driving once again. <laughs> We're leaving Bangkok for one night, going to Samut Samut Sakhon. Samut San Khan. Samut Sakhon. Yeah, something like that. Say it a little louder. Samut Sakhon Province, next to Bangkok. Well, it's next to Bangkok. I'll put it down below. It's difficult for me to come up with it exactly correctly. Anyway, a friend of ours uh, is getting married, so we're going to go to the wedding. It's tomorrow morning, which would be Wednesday morning. No, today is Wednesday or Thursday? Today Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. So, jeez, when, <laughs> when you're retired, you just don't know what the heck days it is anymore. Uh, so, we're going to go to the wedding tomorrow morning, and tonight we're going to have dinner with friends and just take you around the area, see what something outside of Bangkok, but close to Bangkok, looks like. It's uh, about one hour drive from where we live in Prom Pong, and we've never been there. Oh, I, I've never been there. Tiki might have. So we'll take you along and show you what the area looks like, have some dinner, maybe have a coffee or two because we're pretty good at that, and look at construction going on this looks like the monorail Tiki that looked like the monorail I think so we think that's the monorail leading into and out of Bangkok not sure but it did look like a monorail anyway stick around it's gonna be a great day for us day and a half and we will show you as much of the area as we can This is all brand new highway and or monorail and or I'm not sure what else, but all brand new. Been working on it for a number of years now. Many, many years. Many, many years, Tiki says. And looking at it, it does look fabulous. First stop is Ban Yai Wiang. What does that mean? Ban Yai Wiang means what? It means um, Grandmama Wiang's house. Okay, that's cool. So Tiki found it. It looks like it's on the water. Oh, it's kind of messy right at the moment. Yep. Udom is here. Possibly our friends Grant and Pim are here too. We're not quite sure. Hello, youngster. Hello. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Also we have a private upstairs. Yeah, this is very nice. You can go up and check it out. There are so many restaurants and cafes on the water in Thailand. They're everywhere. And my good buddy Waza and Shanya at their channel, and I'll put the description down below. I know a lot of you know them already. They always go to these really cool places near where they live. But I just love hanging out on the water like this. Peaceful, pretty and fun. I can't imagine. How was your trip in? Easy. Yeah, very easy. It's a really neat area. Are they fishing out there? We're just using it for transportation. There's our passion fruit americano, and Udom has a. Is that a coconut cake? Coconut yeah. Coconut cake, yeah. Coconut cake. And there's my passion fruit americano. 
You know, folks, people often ask me, what do I do now that I'm retired living in Thailand? This is what I do. <laughs> I mean, really, yeah. you guys see on video what we do every day. Yeah. We hang out with this young man who's awesome. I hang out with my beautiful girlfriend and just enjoy life. So my advice, and I never give life advice on the channel, but I'm gonna give it now. If you can retire, retire before it's too late. Enjoy your life, whether it's where you live or you find another place to live, just go do it. Because life is too short not to enjoy the beauty of all that the world has to offer, wherever that is for you. Okay, PSA over, let's drink. Oh, let's eat. What is In case you need a happy, relaxing toilet, it's that way. Well, that's a lovely restaurant. A nice area right on the water. But it was pleasant. The passion fruit Americana was very good. And now we're off to the next spot, but not quite sure what that is yet. And that's the name, 14 Place Boutique Hotel. And we're uh, checking in. Passport. Oh, ID card. One thing to keep in mind, if you live in Thailand and you have a driver's license and you're traveling in Thailand, you can always use your driver's license to check into hotels and also for airplanes. Outside of Thailand, bring your passport. But inside of Thailand, I always use my Thai driver's license and it always works. And they will always ask you for it because as a Farang, a foreigner, they have to check me in with the government. So just something to be aware of, but you don't need to carry your passport everywhere if you're in Thailand with a Thai driver's license. Let's take a look at the room. What does 900 baht get us? Gets us an okay toilet. Ah, shower with a glass window, very nice. <laughs> Closet. Ticky. Yes. And there's our two free bottles of water. Uh, we, we do get a view. The bed is not hard. That's good. Not bad, tick, 900 baht, 27 US dollars. Oh, nice view. Yeah. We made it to our dinner location, but that wasn't easy, tick. <laughs> that was a weird drive. I wish I could have filmed it for you guys. We had to go way out of the way to go like two kilometers. We went about 12 kilometers because of construction. And then we had to make a U-turn that was impossible to make, so we had to go even further. But anyway, we are here in Samut Sakan for dinner the night before the wedding with our friends. Oh, it's crowded. Sawaki <laughs> Cup. <laughs> Trying to get seven of us to order at a table. Not so easy. The menu looks very, very extensive. And we're definitely not in Bangkok anymore. Fried, deep fried sea bass, 200 baht. No way we see that price in Bangkok. 500, 600 baht easily. So Tiki and I go a little bit with that pricing, man. Hopefully it's good, but it's busy here, so I'm sure it will be. And it's got a 4.7 with 430 reviews. This is the name of the restaurant we're eating in tonight in Samut Sakong. Here's a few items of the menu. The prices are really good, as I said just a second or two ago. We are not in Bangkok anymore. And it goes on and on. And what are you guys eating? What is this? 
That's some kind of fried catfish. Oh, thing. that's a cat. Okay. Yeah. I like fried catfish. That's a nam prik. So what is that? Nam prik. Nam prik. Yep. What is that? It's spicy stuff and vegetables and it looks like uh, I don't know what that is. But. All right. Udom, what happened? You just you just tasted that. you are come from southern Thailand. You're Thai, and that was spicy. It's very spicy. It's very spicy. It's crazy spicy. All right, let's see. Take a try it. That's supposedly a, a southern dish. Pet. 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 Oh, that's a catfish. Let's try that. This is fried catfish. Usually very good. A little bit spicy. Very tasty. A little bit spicy. Deep fried sea bass. 200 baht. And those guys over there, they're having a feast. All right. Now our food is just starting to get here. All right, bon appetit. All right, let's try the sea bass. Wow, oh, that was soft. I expected it to be very thick. It's very good. Nice. That's very nice. Yeah. Penang curry. Moo or Kai. Moo or? Ah, that smells good. Oh, yeah, that, that smells good. And that sea bass is excellent. Yeah, really good. Okay, we're good here. One, just one. Thank you. What was this? Tom Yum seafood? Udum, what is this? Wing bean salad. Wing bean. With shrimp. Oh, with shrimp. Yeah. Okay. What does wing bean mean though? It's a, it's, it's a type of bean that indigenous here in Thailand. Okay. The food is fantastic. So they're saying that this is very spicy. And I'm going to try it now. It's this. Tip. Yes. Hold this for me while I try this spicy stuff. Not not really spicy. Not really? No. Sweet? I must, yeah, not spicy, no. I must have hit the pepper. You must have hit a pepper. Yeah, not spicy. <laughs> Tip, how's the food? Very, very, very good. So if it's this taste, I think we can find a place to eat like a Thai cuisine mm. in Bangkok. Yeah. I love it. This would be great in Bangkok near us. Yeah. Couldn't resist coconut ice cream with something else down there. And peanuts. And I'm doing low carb right now, but I, I gotta cheat a little bit tonight. Alright, try it. Let me know if it's good. Okay, so for you, please wait for your spoon. Okay. Can you wait? I can wait. Mmm, cool. <laughs> well, I hope so. Okay, the cost of that meal, and it was awesome, was 1,000 baht. That was for the three of us, me, Vicky, and Udom. Four dishes, two club sodas or soda waters, the regular water, and two desserts. Just don't want to keep beating this to death, but it was absolutely delicious food, and all of us would love to have this near our house. Got my deodorant when we left today, and tomorrow it's gonna to be really hot. So we're gonna to go to a lotus. There it is. And 
hopefully get some. Never been in a Lotus, uh, small Lotus shop like this. Come on. certainly have more than a seven does and then all the same stuff that a seven does good morning it's the next day and we are having coffee before we head over to the little wedding ceremony of our friend it's hot out in Summit Sakan but it's a really cool little city we like it and Tiki and I plan to do some more investigating in the future Yesterday was great. The meal last night was absolutely terrific. We all loved it. We were really surprised actually at how good it was, but the place was crowded and you can see that they knew that that was the place to go. And we're, oh, we did a house hunting yesterday. House hunting Thailand. And I think you're gonna like that. We saw some good houses for you. So that'll be a separate video. You know I do the house hunting Thailand series. Uh, so look out for that. Maybe that'll come out before this one, maybe not. But either way, we're sure to show it to you. So we'll be back in a few seconds. Well, Tiki's and our friend is married, and we had a really nice wedding, good food, nice little ceremony. But it's now time for coffee. Hey! And this is where we're heading for coffee. One of our friends knew of this location. Farm. They have a fruit farm? Yeah. Okay. So oh, let's see. Limchi. Oh, very good. Sawati <laughs> Kaap. Oh, nice to meet you. So here is the history. They have a very, very old... Limchi. Oh, Limchi. Oh. Kipilaka. So that one is 100 years, very, very old. And still provides fruit? Uh-huh. So this, is, this is the owner here. Yeah, it sure is. More beauty in tranquil. Thailand. Mm. Oh, want to climb a ladder? Probably not such a good idea. <laughs> what do you got there? Manau. This Manau. Lemon. lemon or lime? And lime, no lime, seed lime. in. No seed. Yeah, he said that. Oh, she said no seed. So these are lime farm, also Manal. What? 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 Big Mama. <laughs> yeah, that is a big Mama. <laughs> Very pretty. Really nice here. Seven right. The total. Yeah. The and you have a little. You have a little less than seven rye yourself. Five. Plus one, a Ooh. little more than one. You know that restaurant, the Ling Pling? That's a fruit, that's the name of the fruit. That fruit. Very much sour. Very, Oh my God. Yeah. That one very much sour. Sour? Can you, can, what, you, can, you can, can eat it? Yeah, yeah we, can we can eat it. But you have to dip with sauce okay. because it's too much sour. Too sour? Too much. Okay. Believe me. Beautiful tropical plants. Let's go have a coffee. You see the name? Natura Garden Cafe and Restaurant. And there's the beautiful Noi. Private guide. 
Noi knows this place. She comes here often, her and Robert. Wow, look at this. This is awesome. <laughs> So Noi and Robert do a lot of meetup and internation group bicycle rides and tours. And this is one of the places that they come to via boat. I'm not sure how. And they have a lunch or a coffee here and you can see how beautiful it is. Look at that. I'm being called. I was called over for this viewpoint and really so nice. Lovely. Very beautiful area. Hi. I was just telling you that Robert and Noi do a lot of meetup and intonation get togethers and one of the things they do is get a boat to this area. So what ha ha where do you pick up the boat and then what's the tour like? Well, ge generally we pick up the boat at the, at the Big Buddha. Um, it costs about 150 baht, 200 baht each. But you can, you can get various options. You can come directly here or you can take a, a, a much longer route around the Klongs and they're really good. Uh -huh. It's worth taking a boat around the Big Buddha because it's really interesting from the water. So it stops here and then you get a coffee or a lunch? Oh, we get, we get lunch here. Yeah, look, okay. It's really good, really good food. Here, let me show you where you are, where we are. Palm Jai Garden. And about how many people do you normally get? Oh, so you... You just pick up the local boats. Yeah, well, we, we yeah. reserve it in advance. Okay. You know, this is a, this is the one of the boats we pick up. Got it. We bring about thirty people here, and then <laughs> oh, they're doing some YouTubing also. <laughs> yeah. So you get about thirty people. Okay, we get two boats usually, about thirty people, and. The route we just de depends. You can take a short route here or a much longer route around the Klongs, depending on people in Krista. What's the name of that meetup group? Um, or is that Internations? No, it's on it's on Meetup on Internations, but on Meetup is Bangkok cycling and walking. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll come I, here but once every six months. I can put a link down for you. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. There's okay. other trips as well. I'll put a link down for his uh, Internations and Meetup groups. He does great stuff. And he's been doing it for years. For five years. Yeah. And you need to find his history. He'll travel and bike all over the world. So you do a lot of that too. Yeah. When's your next Europe trip? Um, this, this, this April we're going to walk a thousand kilometers. Whoa, walk? Yeah, cutting all the stuff. I'm staying in a he's hospital. not 25 anymore, by the way. 26. <laughs> 26. <laughs> I think it'll take me 40 days. 40, wow. 25 So we're not going to have you for 40 days? Yeah. That's not good. A party every night. Autumn is leaving for two months, you know, yeah. uh, in two weeks. And then you're going to take off? No, yeah. not, no, 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 not no, nice. No, he's doing 600 kilometers. With you? Yeah. Then she cuts the plane back and I'll carry on for wow. the last 400 kilometers. That's wild. So I'll, I'll reword the 1,000 kilometers. 800 kilometers walking, 200 kilometers by bike. Because the middle part of Spain is very flat and desert. Okay. It's totally uninteresting. So we just bike, we rent the bike one end and drop it off three or four days later at the other end. Now, are you doing this by yourself or with a group? Not by myself. By yourself, yeah. you and Noi. Yeah, it's easy, easy. There are lots of people doing it. Folks, retired life is awesome, and this is what you get to do if you're retired and hanging out in Thailand. In Thailand, yeah, it's tough, I can tell you. Although you're doing <laughs> that in Spain. Yeah. So. All right, I'm going to put Robert's links to his meetup and internations group below. And when you're in Th if you're in Thailand and Bangkok, of course, anytime you can join his groups. If you're visiting, he always welcomes visitors also during the time you're here. To go to Jerry's coffee morning on Friday, they're even better. <laughs> well, but then I can give him your information, so that yeah. works also. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, folks, isn't this beautiful? Thanks, Robert. Look at how beautiful this is. I know that was a long segment, but some good information. So uh, please, in the comments section below, anything you want to ask about that, more than happy to answer your questions and get you hooked up with Robert and Noise Groups. And now we need coffee. Maybe I order everything for everybody already. Okay, you're so, very nice. Huh? So Jenny, when you walk a thousand kilometers, huh? this is what you get. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that's a thousand kilometers. Uh, I think we're time for new shoes there, Robert. Resole. No. Another five years. Another five we years. have a resole here. No. He's not it's kidding. He's going to go five really? more years with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the owner of this beautiful yeah. coffee and uh, farm. Right? You call it a farm? Garden. Garden. My, okay. This is the owner. And she just brought us some fruit from the garden. Jack fruit. Jack, Jack fruit. fruit. And what is your name? My name is A. 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 And how long have you been here? I was born here. You were born here. And family? Yes. Oh. Since my family, more than 100 years. Oh, oh. Wow. It's beautiful. Thank you. So I'll make sure everybody knows how to come here. Okay. I give them your link over in the bottom. Oh, uh, link. Uh, this. This cafe, this long is managed by, by my son. Uh, oh, very yes, nice. Yes, dot, dot, uh, yeah, now, okay. I, now I'm the worker. That's okay. <laughs> it's light. I'm yeah. the worker. You're the worker. Yes. I And have everything he wants. <laughs> now she is the staff. I know. And she work and assist But too. if the son is no good, boom, hit him. <laughs> no problem. I, 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 I uh, said the truth. I, I say the truth. Yeah. Uh, he's a new generation, yes. and I'm even. I do everything already, but uh, my son said, um, "I success in the garden. I have environment. I have the culture. I have food. I have local wisdom." But Ah, oh, nice and cool in here. Yes. <sighs> what is this, Dicky? Taling ping. Taling ping. Taling ping cake. Taling ping. Taling ping. And then this one? This is uh, Thai tea. Thai tea. Thai tea kasar. Are they good? Aloy mai? Brio. Aloy. Brio. The sour fruit. Mm. Aloy. Every time I drink smoothie, I get brain crazy. <laughs> well, this is what life is all about on a Wednesday outside of Bangkok in Thailand. You gotta try it, folks. Come for a visit. You don't have to live here, but come for a visit. It's really a great lifestyle, very sabai sabai, which means whatever, whatever. Uh, it's hard to beat this. Yes, it's not for everybody, I get it. But if it's something that you do like, this lifestyle, it's well worth trying. Bye. The ling bling fruit. It's okay. Not my favorite. More of the beautiful garden at Pum Jai. What was it called again? Pum Jai Garden? Pum Jai. Pum Jai. Cafe and garden? Cafe and garden, yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll put a link below. Uh, so now, oh, Pum Mr. Pum Jai means clouds? Proud. Pla plowed. Yeah, proud. Proud, P R O U D? Yeah. Okay, proud. From Germany. Germany. Where are you from? 
We are from all over the place. <laughs> where, but where are you from? I'm, I'm Thai, but I live in the U.S. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. Really? New Jersey. Oh, New Jersey. Yeah. Oh, love How did you ever find this place? Uh, actually, a colleague of mine of us they recommended it. Really? Yes. Its place is awesome. Yes. Yeah, we love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what part of Germany are you guys from? From Munich or Munich? like Munich. Oh, Munich is yeah. beautiful. We're, we're working in Munich. And the beers are even better. <laughs> 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 I, was in, I was in Munich last June. I cycled from Vienna to Amsterdam. Nice. Yeah. But you have to come in October first or September to, no. to the yeah. Oktoberfest. Yeah, That's the best yeah. time. Really crowded. Uh, <laughs> but you need to like beer if you come for Oktoberfest yeah. and some of us I don't like beer. <laughs> Tick. Yes. What do you say? We say goodbye. Okay, it's time to say goodbye, yeah, everyone. No, fine, yeah. Where are you going? Let's yeah, like, wait for us. <laughs> All right, folks. That was a great day and a half around a wedding. I promise you, we had a good time in the wedding. This place, this place is absolutely beautiful. If you are around this area, and again, I'll put the link below. Unjai Garden. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So, Tick, you want to say goodbye? Goodbye. Hope everyone enjoy our video. Absolutely. Bye. Have a great day or night whenever you're watching. Please do like and subscribe. And we will see you on the next video from Bangkok or Thailand or somewhere fun. See ya. Say goodbye, guys. Hi. It was a great day today. Absolutely. Great day and a half. We're surrounded by a wedding. Robert, say goodbye to your fan club. Okay, bye. Nice meeting you all. I hope to meet you sometime in Bangkok. Absolutely. Have a good time here like we do. Especially on your tour. Yeah. Good.